Papers, um, there's a part that you're talking about finding, there's a chapter called Finding the Light Within, mm -hmm. and you've been talking about your Transfiguration Light work, mm -hmm. and, um, and you say that I believe that working with light will be how we heal in the future. So you're saying that you still perform soul retrievers, tr retrievals, power animal retrievals, etc. But you're now you're beginning to view this transfiguration light work as the ultimate healing. So I wanted to talk slightly, you know, if we either experience through meditation or talk about it. Which, do you have a preference? Well, I can, um, I can do both. Okay. <laughs> Do we, how many we have minutes? we have like five five minutes. Could we do? Okay, I, I can do a little bit of both. Okay. So um, basically, um, what? Very long story. So I'm not going to tell the long story. Shorten okay. it. Um, I worked with uh, through a dream, and um, a helping spirit showing me through a dream how light heals. Mm -hmm. And so what I brought into my shamanic work, and we did a lot of scientific experiments where we um, polluted water and, uh, and worked with this particular way of working that I'm going to share now and lead everybody into now and we found that um, the water moves back to a place of neutrality and to a place of health and since then we've worked with all different kinds of polluted substances mm. and people who are ill and so in this particular mm. work you're not sending light you're not sending anything you're not sending healing the belief is as above so below as within so without which means our outer environment is always going to reflect back our inner state. So if we move into a place of light, everything in the outside world, whether we perceive it as ill or polluted, is going to start to reflect back a state mm. of health and light. Mm -hmm. And so we talk about body, mind, and spirit, but who we are beyond our skin is where spiritual light, like um, the light of the sun or um, a star in the night sky and when you think about a star in the night sky a star doesn't try to shine it's not like oh I don't have the energy to shine today <laughs> and it's not saying oh I think I'm going to shine my light on Sandra Ingerman in Santa Fe New Mexico um, a star just radiates so mm -hmm. this is the point of the work and so uh, those of you who would like to try this if um you just want to close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, some cleansing breaths, just some deep breaths in and out, just to allow yourself to put aside your ordinary thoughts and concerns and all the words that we've been talking about and move into a place of heart of really thinking about what you love about life and nature and the beings that you love and just breathe in and out. And as you do that, to travel within and within yourself, go into your own inner world, your inner landscape. And just imagine, imagination is a God-given gift. Use your imagination. Imagine um, a star shining within you, radiating, and absorb the light of that star star into every cell of your being, just like a dry sponge that's been put in water or a flower that soaks in the rain or soaks in the sun. Or you could imagine um, an inner sun within you and do the same. Or you can imagine a flame. And first, just allow that light to be absorbed into every single cell of your being. And as you feel that being absorbed, just let it flow effortlessly. Don't try to send it anywhere. Just let it flow throughout you, through the room that you're in, and throughout the planet. And just radiate. Just be a light in the world, like the old mystics have talked about for thousands of years. And there are so many shamans who talk about that they only heal from being a presence of light. We heal through our presence, not by what we do. Mm. And now just take a few deep breaths and, and don't disconnect from that light, but bring your consciousness back because it's time for us to end. But you can continue this practice by putting on some nice music that you like that's expansive and just do this for about 15 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. 
and as you go also into the grocery store, into the bank, or in traffic, imagine yourself just radiating light and being a light and uplifting all of light, life. And that's how we can transform and heal ourselves and the planet. Mm, beautiful.